years of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Mia, <laughs> always I'm right to you about my big beautiful city of Chicago where I'm going live. But this time, to give you a better idea what a city is look like, I'm sending you picture postcards. Also, I'm right to having a wonderful time wishing you was here on the back of every postcard, except the one. That's a picture of the stockyards. Then I'm right to having a wonderful time. Stay where you are. <laughs> anyway, Mamma Mia, look good on these postcards, and you see what the American city is like. First picture is to show you the loop. This is Chicago's busiest section, and you're going to see autos, buses, taxis, elevators, and street cars. The little things that's uh, running away, that's the uh, people. <laughs> I'm also putting a picture of my school building, which I love so much, and where I'm uh, going right to now. <laughs> if I know you was a coming, I'm a back a pizza, I'm a back a pizza, I'm a gonna back a pizza. Ah, here's my trolley car. All right, step lively, step lively. Have your transfers ready. All right, move up. Move to the rear of the car, please. Sure, I'm a move to my rear. Hey, you Me? Yeah, this uh, transfer is no good How about I just got it from the other trolley driver? Well, it expired ten minutes ago Expired? Excuse me, I'm going to look into my dictionary <laughs> Expire to die Mamma mia, poor transfer How come it's a possible transfer should die? Because it's stamped between seven and eight And it's ten after eight Ten after eight. Expired mean it's too late to be used. Oh, please, a ten after eight. Look, maybe while we're arguing, you can take me to my school. There's no arguing. Either you pay your 15 cents or get off the car. Besides, I'm three minutes late myself. You mean your trolley is expired too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, wise guy. Are you getting off? No, no, you... no, please, please. Don't get excited. Well, when I'm going to get on the other trolley, I'm going to get a transfer. It's supposed to be good. Well, it's not. I've been getting so many of these, I'm getting sick of it. Now, look, pay the 15 cents, I'll sign the transfer, give it to you, and you can write the company. Now, is that fair? All right, the fair. Good. Fair? Uh-huh, fair. No, 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 no. Fair. Fair. Yeah, but I'm agree with you. Fair? Fair. <laughs> fair means 15 cents. Huh? I'm about to look in my dictionary. Don't look in anything. Just give me the money. Huh? Well, all right, all right. Mamma mia, I'm better give him 15 cents before it's turned out to be a 25 cents. I'm, I'm hoping Miss Spalding is not going to be angry because I'm late. That was very good, Mr. Olson. <laughs> and now... Well, come in, Mr. Basco. Oh, thank you, Miss Spalding. Hello, Hello Luigi. Uh, hello, hello. You're 20 minutes late, Mr. Basco. What's the excuse? About a half an hour ago, I'm expired. <laughs> what? That's what I call a good student. He comes to school dead or alive. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. What do you mean you expired, Mr. Basco? Well, you see, Miss Spalding... I'm a guy on a B trolley, go to the end of the line to get a school. I got a transfer with a hole punch for a D trolley, but a hole was expired. His make a transfer to die because the conductor was a fed. I'm a got a transfer with his name to complain it to the company. <laughs> Stop, Luigi. I think you are off your trolley. <laughs> Wait a minute, Schultz. Luigi is very obvious to me. The conductor told him his transfer was no good. 
That's happened to millions of people. Believe me. All right, Mr. Vasco, I understand your excuse. Now try not to let it happen again. Yeah, but it's impossible, Miss Spalding. Impossible? Why? Because I'm going to punch the holes in the transversion. <laughs> well, forget it. Oh, no, 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 Miss Spalding. I'm going to forget it. What? Please, Miss Spalding. What I mean is, is enough fault of mine. A conductor is an argue and a transfer is a good. I'm going to complain. That's the spirit, Luigi. Who would I like to tell a trolley car conductor where to get off? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to write to the company, explain everything, and I see that they give me back my money. Good for you, Luigi. That's sticking up for your rights. You think so, Miss Spalding? Why, certainly, Mr. Basco. If you think the conductor punched a hole in the wrong place, you have a perfect right to complain. If you think it's worth it. Well, uh, if the conductor punched the hole, it's a death fault, so it's a worth it. Uh, if you don't mind, Luigi, I would like to say something on the subject. There he goes. Ooh, but I like to punch a hole in him. <laughs> oh, is that so? Now, please, gentlemen, please, please. What is it, Mr. Olsen? Uh, well, uh, I, I would only like to add that there are too few people like Luigi. Most people, they take these little things lying down without doing anything about it. I think the principle of the thing is real important. And if Luigi is willing to take the time to do it, he should be highly commended on his sense of justice. Himmel, how can a man be so right and sound so wrong? <laughs> Here, what a, what a thank you, Olsen. I'm a remember when I'm first to come to America. I'm a got the wrong number on the telephone, but I'm a got the my nickel back. How did you do it, Luigi? You know, I find it so hard to kick the telephone in a phone booth. <laughs> no, I gave the girl my name and address. The next day, the nickel came back in an envelope. <laughs> I remember, I was at all so thankful, I put the nickel back in the telephone, called the operator, said, thank you, and I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you, Mr. Basco. As Mr. Horowitz said, it's good to see someone sticking up for his rights. Yeah, oh, and maybe for letting them know that they will send you a bonus of 15 cents. Yeah, and then with the 30 cents, you could take a taxi. You don't have to ride in a trolley car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who knows, Luigi? Maybe from your letter, the company will decide to make it new improvements. Maybe they're going to put in their streetcar soft seats with armrests. <laughs> Maybe they give indirect lighting with free newspapers. <laughs> who knows? They might even build it a new fleet of trolleys and hire only beautiful girls as conductors. <laughs> yeah, but sure, so you think they would do all this because of my letter? No, but if you tell them they should do that, maybe you'll get back your 15 cents. <laughs> Good morning, Basco. Oh, hello, Mr. Post Office. You got a something from Italy? No, not today. But here's something from the Chicago Trolley Company. Oh, that's a good. Thank you very much. Here, have a piece of fruit. Well, thanks. Well, so long. Yeah, well, it must have been 15 cents that they sent me back. Hmm, here's no money. Dear Mr. Basco, we regret the unfortunate incident that you had on our line. Will you please fill out in a closer form so that we may settle your claim? Yours truly, J.T. Atkinson, passenger traffic manager. Mama mia, why they sent a form? There must be something wrong. I'm a better go next door and ask my countryman Pasquale. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. Hey, look, I'm a got this letter. Uh-uh. Trouble, huh, my little banana nose? <laughs> Pasquale. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm a dunno. It's a, from a trolley company. I'm a had a complaint with a transfer. So I'm stuck up for my rights, and I ask for my money back, and now I'm going to get this letter. You rode to the trolley company? Yeah. Luigi, I'm afraid to ask, but what did you do now? How much is it going to cost to bail you out and don't expect no help from me? <laughs> but, Pasquale, why do you think there's so much trouble? I'll tell you why, because when you rode a trolley company... Is it not the city case? What do you mean? Well, your trouble was between a Madison and a Monroe Street, you know? Yes. Well, right away is a federal case. Oh. <laughs> you dealing, you dealing, Luigi, with the Interstreet Commerce Commission. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, let me see that transfer. Hey, all right, I better be careful, Miss Qualley. You're going to tear it. You see, conductor punched the hole over here. Terrible. Terrible. Is it worse, sir? What's the matter? You see where the conductor punched it to say PM? That's a mean of public money. <laughs> you should have told him AM. Why? Because you're not a citizen, and that means the alien money. <laughs> Luigi, I hate to tell you this, but are you guilty of a perjury? You don't say. If I don't say, how come you hear me? <laughs> oh, Luigi, perjury, that's very bad. That's one step above a Mrs. Demeanor. Uh -huh. Now, look, Luigi, trial companies are going to tell a bus company on you. Oh. They tell the taxis who oh. tip off for the trains. Oh. Then the airplane companies will find out about it and they bar you. Oh. From now on, you're going to be known as Luigi Bosco, the man without a vehicle. Oh. <laughs> well, Pasquale, please, please, help me out. What am I going to do? Sure, sure. I'm glad to help you. Because <laughs> I'm going to love you like a son-in-law. Sure. Tear up the form and write back a letter to the company like this. Uh, Dear to who will make concern. I'm going to never receive you letter, which I'm going to thank you for not to send it. <laughs> I'm going to never have a trouble with your company. I'm going to like you very much, and I'm going to close the 15 cents. Go buy your trolley a cigar. <laughs> Yours are truly, sincerely, Bosco. Don't give it a first name. It's a sound like your lawyer made up for the letter, you see. How's it at, eh? Oh, well, that's a wonderful, Pasquale. What the wouldn't I do without you? You wouldn't get into trouble, that's a what. <laughs> well, Luigi, now that I'm helping you out... I want you should have helped me out. <laughs> what a show, Pasquale. What do you want I should do? To show you got a no hard feelings, you should have go for a ride on a trolley car right away. Oh, well, I'm a glad to do that. Then. And with you, take my daughter Rosa. <laughs> what do you say, my son? Goodbye, Papa. Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that millions of people find enjoyable during a busy day. Carry a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you wherever you go. Then, whenever you want a refreshing little pickup or a taste treat that isn't rich or heavy, chew a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint. The lively, long-lasting spearmint flavor is really delicious. And the good, pleasant chewing adds enjoyment to whatever else you're doing. It satisfies you, gives you the little lift you need and tide you over till meantime. Try it and see for yourself. Keep Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy and enjoy it often every day. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. Hello, so, Mamma Mia. I'm a did what a Pasquale has told me. I'm a wrote the letter to the company and I'm a took it trolley car ride all by myself right away and I'm acting very nice. In the trolley, sign is to say, do not speak to the conductor. So I'm not said a word to the conductor. But I'm a sent him a note to tell him how good he's a driver. He's a give me a funny look. <laughs> then he's a holler, step to the rear of the car. Right away I'm obey and I'm a step so far to the rear I'm almost fell out of the back of the trolley. <laughs> Anyway, you would think all this would have helped? No. Two days later, I'm receiving another letter, even worse. I was trying to figure out what to do when... Luigi, my fellow boob. Oh, hello, sure. <laughs> well, how did you make it out, Mr. Trolley? Look, I'm a just to receive this letter. Ah, let me see. Huh? Dear Mr. Basco, we cannot understand your last letter, and we would appreciate your cooperation in helping us to close the files in your case. Huh? Please come to Mr. Atkinson's offer returning at your earliest can talk to you. You are not lonely. You just want your fingers. Yeah, but listen, they even sent back my transfer. Why? I'm a dunno. Conductor give it to me. I'm a send it to the company. They sent it back, and now I'm a gotta bring it in again. Him, that transfer is doing more traveling than their trolley cars. <laughs> no, wait, Luigi. 
Here in the letter is 15 cents. Yeah, I know. I sent it to them. Luigi, who told you to do that? Pasquale. Ah, Pasquale, no wonder you are so fashimmered. <laughs> now, Luigi, you go right down to that company and talk to them. Yeah, but I'm, I'm afraid. Afraid? Where is the Luigi that said he would stick up for his rights? If it was their fault, so it was worth the trouble, even though it's only 15 cents. Yeah, you're right, the Schulz. This is America, and I'm no afraid to see nobody. I'm going to go right to now and I see Mr. Atkinson. That's the spirit, Luigi. And smile. Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. Huh? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> have an appointment with Mr. Atkinson. Now look, I'm going to tell you for half hour. He's wrote me I should come down to my earliest of convenience. Now he's at my earliest. Well, uh, what do you wish to see him about? It's about the 15 cents he's owe me. Oh, just a minute. I'll buzz him. Yes? Mr. Atkinson, Mr. Jenkins wanted me to remind you about the five o'clock meeting of the Railway Commission. I know all about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yes, there's a Mr. Luigi Basco here. He's come to collect a personal death. A personal death? Yes, it's 15 cents. What? Oh, tell him I'm out for the day. All right, then I'm going to wait until you come back. <laughs> what? I'm going to brought you a letter, and I'm coming for my 15 cents. Oh, all right, send him in. Hmm, so you may go in now, Mr. Basco. Thank you. 15 cents. I didn't think Mr. Atkinson needed money that bad. Come in, come in, sir. I didn't realize it was you. If I remember correctly, you sent us a rather odd letter. Well, is uh, is no rush with the business, Mr. Atkinson, any of you letter you say you want to talk with me? So maybe we talk first, huh? How's the streetcar business? Uh? <laughs> you make a nice living? <laughs> yes, yes. Now, what's more important, as passenger traffic manager, it's my duty to investigate complaints. And frankly, I understand that at that terminus, there have been quite a few. Well, I try to eliminate the causes, so suppose you tell me what happened that day. Start from the beginning. From the beginning? Yes. Well, uh... The alarm clock is the one off at that the morning, and I'm a jump out of bed. No, no. <laughs> Start from the time you boarded that first trolley. Oh, now, exactly what time was it? Was uh, ten after seven. Are you sure it was ten after seven? When the little hand is on a seven, and a bigger handle is on a two, what time is it? Then? When the little handle is on the seven, and the big handle is on the two, it's uh, uh, well, let's say it was ten after seven. <laughs> you uh, boarded the trolley where? Staten and Monroe. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. All right. Uh, Staten and Madison, Staten and Monroe, Staten and Adams, Staten and Jackson. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? You said keep going, so I'm gone. <laughs> well, stop. I can't. Why not? I'm got another mile to go before I'm a get off. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm trying to find out what happened when you boarded that first car. Oh, oh. Well, uh, I'm a gave the conductor 15 pennies. He's a give me a dime and a nickel. I'm a drop the dime on the floor and I bend down to look for it. <laughs> a lady is a fall over me. All right, let's forget the lady. <laughs> huh? Forget the lady? Yes. Mr. Atkinson, that's not the nice. A lady is a fall over me. I'm a got to pick her up. All right! <laughs> pick her up. Now, did that first conductor give you the transfer in question? Sure. That's where maybe is the mistake. Was a bigger crowd. Maybe he's a got a nervous, and he's a punch a hole between a seven and eight and instead of eight and a nine. Uh, Mr. Basco, are you sure you didn't find that transfer uh, somewhere, like an old one in your pocket or on the street or? Uh... Mr. Atkinson, you think I'm a lie to you? All right, keep on my money, and from now on, I'm gonna take all of my business to the bus. <laughs> Please, Mr. Basco, I'm just trying. Oh. Hello. Hello, Atkinson. Will you come up to my office? We've got to prepare for the Railway Commission meeting. Oh, yes, sir. Just let me finish a complaint I have on the State Street's terminus. Oh, that's sore spot. Oh, no, it's a no sore spot. Seats are fine, but a transfer is a no good. <laughs> Please, Mr. Basco. I've got an idea, Atkinson. Bring the man up with you. Well, come along. Mr. Basco, do you realize that you just spoke to our president? Mamma mia, Harry Truman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thought of you as a President Truman. 
And you was only Mr. Jennikin. Yes, yes. Uh, will you sit down, please? A cigar, Mr. Basco? Uh, no, I'm a sorry. I'm a no got any. <laughs> well, I'm uh, giving you one. Oh, oh thanks. I'm a don't mind if I'm a do. Hmm. hmm. Tax a paid. My favorite brand. Hmm, is it nice? <coughs> well, <coughs> well, gentlemen, what do you kind of do for me? Hmm. Uh, Mr. Basco, I have a very important reason for asking you to come here. But first, I want to make sure that we understand each other's position. Yeah. You got my 15 cents, and I'm a wanted. Mr. Basco, <laughs> what I mean is we are bound by certain rules handed down by the Railway Commission. For instance, uh, well, would you mind reading me the rules on the back of your transfer? Why, you forget them? Oh, I, 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 I just want to make sure you understand. Um, oh, give it to me and I'll read them. All right, they're here. Thank you. This transfer is issued, it says, subject to the rules of the Chicago Trolley Transit Lines. It is published in the tariffs and special regulations. It is good for transfer to connecting lines in the same general direction away from the district of issue via direct route only. And it is not good in any line which returns the point of origin or the general locality thereof. Um, Mr. Basco, do you understand that? Huh? <laughs> I said, do you understand that? No, do you? Of course. All right, do you explain to me? Oh, very well. Uh, when a transfer is returned, I mean issued, uh, the regulation... Oh, I mean the trolley. Uh, that is the commission. Uh, Mr. Basco, I don't see... No, the... please, please, Mr. Jennikin. I'm going to want to make a trouble. Maybe I'm going to get on you at the wrong time. It's a slow season with the trolleys, and you can't pay the 15 cents. <laughs> that is not the point. No, no, no. It is not nothing to be ashamed. I'm going to get the same thing in my business. Only is it slow all the time. <laughs> if it's too much for your company to pay all on one at a time, you send me a penny a week for 15 a week. <laughs> it is not the 15 cents, Mr. Basco. Chicago Trolley Transit is worth over $20 million. We're a great public utility serving over four million people. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. You don't want to give me my money. <laughs> Mr. Basco. You owe me 15 cents. All right, to charge me for a cigar and you just to give me a dime. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is preposterous. All right, don't give me no money. Let me ride the home for nothing and then we even. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins, we're not getting anywhere and we've got to be at that board meeting in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Oh, good heavens. Uh, come, Mr. Basco. It's too late to explain now. I've got an idea. I'm taking you to the Railway Commission. Let them hear our side of it from just a plain citizen. Mamma mia. Railway Commission. Pasquale was right. I'm going to be the man without a vehicle. All right, Mr. Jenkins, you may proceed with your appeal. Thank you. If it pleases the Commission, I would like to introduce Mr. Luigi Basco a typical passenger on our trolley lines who has a typical complaint. Now, Mr. Basco... No, 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 please, don't send me away. I'm a promise you. I'm going to walk every day to school. I'm never even going to look on a trolley car, not even on a kitty car. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Basco... All right, keep your money, keep your cigar. I'm only smoke a half anyway. <laughs> please, please, just let me stay in America. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Basco, I, I don't understand this. Now, um... Now, uh, will you just show the commission your transfer? All right. I know it's a look terrible. I'm a look guilty, but it's not my fault. Conductor is a punch the hole between a seven and eight. But everybody is a handle of transfer so much, the hole is a between a five and a nine. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Basco, you're, you're, uh, I must say, you're not helping my company one bit. Huh? I brought you here to present our case. You're doing us a favor. You see, we're trying to provide our passengers with a safer, more comfortable ride. We want to prove that our State Street line extends for more than an hour. And if you will tell your story... And so, Pasquale, I talked to the commission, and I told them that it would help them to get a loan. And maybe if they could not, they raised the rates. Anyway, I'm a tall story, and everything was a turn out to fine. The president has called me by my first name. I'm a call him by his last name. And then, then they give me this a present. You see, Luigi, is like I always told you. In America, you got to fight for your rights. 
Well, I'm an okay what's happened as long as you're happy enough to take a rosa to the movies. Hey, here comes the trolley car. Where's that a rosa, am I? Hey, Rosa! Rosa! I'm coming, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> so do I, I say. <laughs> what picture we gonna see, Luigi? It's a woman on the run with the Anna Shutter down. Hey, you sure you don't want to see a woman in the park with a rosa? <laughs> <laughs> no, Pasquale, thanks. I'm gonna care for double features. Well, here we are. All right, step up. Have your fares ready, please. I don't need no fares, Mr. Trolley. Here's a two transfers. What? Just to read this letter. Well, it's signed by Mr. Jenkins. These transfers are good any day, provided they are punched properly. All right. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. These aren't punched. I said, I right. We got a private joke. See, this is a present from the company. A puncher? That's right. And I see what does it say attached. This puncher has been presented to Mr. Basco, and he may punch any time he wants to on the transfer. <laughs> Well, glory be, the company's getting a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Papa! <laughs> so long, Alonso. So long, Luis. <laughs> so long, Pasquale. And look, I'm no more the man without a vehicle. I'm the man with a punch. <laughs> And so, Mamma Mia, it was a very exciting time for me, and I'm approved it's a pay to stand up for your rights. But then I had a funny thought, which I never thought about it before, was about the trolley company. They call me wonderful names. They apologize to me. They praise me. They gave me two dozen of transfers and a bunch. <laughs> they gave me everything. But they never gave me back my 15 cents. <laughs> <laughs> the 11 son of Luigi Basco, the immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you to stop at your merchant's display of chewing gum next time you're at the store. Get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint and take them home for the whole family to enjoy. Wrigley Spearmint gum is the ideal family treat because it's wholesome and healthful. It gives long-lasting enjoyment and it costs so little. Besides, as you know, chewing Wrigley Spearmint is good for the teeth and digestion. So remember to get Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum when you do your shopping. Everybody likes it. Everybody appreciates it when you pass it around. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>